Tonight, the College of Charleston battled a tough Stony Brook squad in the CAA tournament final. The Cougars once again found a way. They are heading to the big dance again, but it wasn't easy. This game was an instant classic. Fast forward about 13 and a half minutes to go in the contest. Cougs up by five. Kobe Rogers, the three ball corner pocket, pushes the lead to eight. Stony Brook cut into the lead only for Rain Smith to make it rain. Top of the key, more on him in a moment. Got it. College up by seven after that bucket. Under five to go. Cougs up six. Rain one more time. Give it to him. The CFC lead is nine. Game over, right? Wrong. Stony Brook fights back to tie it at 73 on this Aaron Clark layup off the glass. We would go to OT tied at 73. CFC up two in the extra frame. Big game rain. The stage is yours. Watch the steal. Lay up, pull it out. Nope from the logo. Got it. You've got to be kidding me. The college up by five. Smith would miss a free throw with three ticks left. One final heave for Stony Brook for the tie. It's no good. Let the celly begin, and rightfully so. Hugs all around the College of Charleston with a repeat trip to the big dance. 82-79 is your final. News 2's Dan Fanning once again standing by live courtside in Washington, D.C., where he's been there for much of the week. And, Dan, what a journey for a team with so many new faces on that roster, huh? Yeah, that's a good way to put it, but I guess first off, credit to Stony Brook. They were playing their fourth game in four days. As tired as they may have appeared, they never showed it on the court tonight, battling CFC to overtime. Looked like they may win it in regulation, but like Dabo Sweeney said when Clemson won the Gator Bowl down in Jacksonville tonight, CFC showed the heart of a champion. Whether it's Rain Smith's big three there in overtime, or maybe Bryce Butler, Kobe Rogers, Frankie Policelli, some of the new guys you just talked about coming into the program, making sure CFC defended their crown tonight CFC boy I don't know what it is but they always find a way to win it seems here in the nation's capital now after tonight's contest I asked Kobe Rogers he came into the program after winning a national title at the D2 level was there any pressure making sure that the Cougars defended their crown in the capital I wouldn't say any pressure at all right we knew we had all the pieces it was a, it was a struggle early in the season starting one and three but uh it's a grind it's a long season you know, ups and downs. You know, I, 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 I needed to step up as a leader personally, uh, especially after those early losses. I, you know, I wasn't I was the leader that I needed to be. Um, but you know, we put the pieces together, we figured it out, and now we're going to we're now we're going to now we're going to dance. It wasn't easy. We set the tone last year, and I think this this program is all about winning. Now we got a winning culture right here. Uh, I'm just, you know, so proud of my guys, so proud of my coaches. Uh, we're not done yet. We're going to keep going. We got, we got many, many great thi uh, things left ahead of us. So we're just going to keep going. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of everybody. And we're going to celebrate tonight, man. And now we'll have to wait till this Sunday, a little after 6 for the selection show to see where the Cougars are heading in the NCAA tournament. But Cougar fans, pull out your dancing shoes. Your Cougars heading back to the big dance. Reporting live in D.C., Dan Fanning, News 2 Sports. Thank you, Dan. Great job, as always, the entire week with the Cougs. As Dan said, the Cougars will return to Charleston tomorrow morning, then watch along with the rest of us on Selection Sunday to see who they will play and where. That's a quick look at sports for now. I'm Mark Morgan.